This method of humiliating the victim before the execution has worked well throughout the Roman world. It prevents the grandstand that is associated with martyrs. They're too weak to do anything but die. You have to remember, crucifixion is meant to be brutal, a lesson to all concerned. First, the cross is laid on the ground. The criminal is stripped and then laid on top of the cross. The soldiers then throw, draw spikes through them, the wrist. Spike goes through pretty easily. The feet are a bit trickier. The soldiers have to bend the knees before attaching it to the wood. If the knees aren't bent, then the dying man can't push up and get the air he needs to breathe. He died pretty quickly from suffocation. If the knees are bent properly, the victim is able to struggle for a long time, twisting on the cross, so to speak. Push up to breathe, hang to relax. Both actions are, are um, pretty painful. Criminals have been known to last for several days before fever and exhaustion take over. It depends on how badly the criminal is beaten beforehand.